Let's talk education now. And a 16-year-old student of the Opokuwari School has made a historic stride, qualifying the school for the grand finale of the National Science and Math Quiz. Stephen Apemaba has become the center stage of the school as Owas seeks to end a 21-year-old NSMQ trophy drought. Emmanuel Brightquoko caught up with the quiz team of the Akatechiers and has filed this report. Pop John with the same preamble. An unfertilized egg can develop into either a male or a female. Yes, Asemati. Amphipathenogenesis. Yes, Stephen. I'm Fitoki. Yes. Stephen Ampema Ba, the wonder kid of Opokuari School, in a full academic showdown mood for his school. He's only 16 years old and the youngest in this year's National Science and Math quiz. Go ahead. A fraction with numerator 322 and denominator 99. Yes. I started uh, preparing for quizzes in GHS2, but generally I became interested in NSMQ in GHS2. Opokua is sort of my family school, because my other brother went to Opokua school, but initially I had uh, in GHS2, I remember in GHS2 I wanted to go to Prempe College, GHS2 I wanted to go to Presec, then last minute I chose Opokua school. So, like, Opokua school wasn't in my wasn't my first choice initially, but uh, last, last, I came here. <laughs> joining the quiz team, I was very surprised because I was like, wow, uh, joining the quiz team, I'll be able to meet the 2023 uh, NSMQ contestants. So, like, I felt very happy uh, knowing that I was part of the NSMQ team for those who are representing for 2023 NSMQ. Over the years, many participating schools adopt tactical approaches to clinch the COVID trophy, while some schools opt for students pursuing programs outside the sciences due to lack of resources, others failed Form 2 science students. Unfortunately, that seemed not to have worked for many schools. The closest a school came was St. Peter's SHS and West Africa SHS when they filled out Form 2 students. Given um, the expression or the equation X squared plus... Um, For Pokuaru school though, the strategy seemed to have worked, but it did not come easy. Coordinator of the quiz team, Richard Mensa, explains the team's series of defeats informed the decision. We were training our Form 3 all right, preparing them for um, the nationals, especially when we were kicked out of the regional championship. And it got to a stage where you go for trials, then there will be some disappointments, then you'll be thinking, so what should we do? We put our heads together and we say no. Then uh, why not try um, Stephen? I asked him whether he would do it, he said yes. So I told him then he should prepare, we are going to give him the chance. So we organized one trial uh, with some two schools and introduced him. And then he did so well. Stephen, who has become the colossus of the Akatechis, led the school to topple their all-time city rivals, Prempe College. Although the decision came with a mixed reaction from other team members, it is reaping benefits as the school makes their 10th final appearance. We were not really happy when the decision was made. But as time went on, I saw that the guy was very good and he would help us. So we decided to work uh, hand in hand with him. And indeed, he helped us because at first I even thought um, maybe he would be substituted, then now coming back. It was the other way around. He was doing very well. Like, he was doing well in the riddles, every part. It was all around, so I, I think the teachers did a good job. The school's strategy was originally cumbersome, but Stephen believed in his capabilities to pull through. Initially, it was, I was very pressurized. I didn't know what I could do, but then uh, I felt empowered because with God, you can do anything. Uh, I felt like I wasn't really prepared because if you look at the, the gap, some people had three years to prepare, and you only inform one, you maybe had only just one year to prepare. You are going against people who have been preparing their whole life, three years. 
and that's what gave me the pressure. Having lost to Prosec Legon four times at the final contest, Opokuari School is optimistic their wonder boy would snatch the trophy in the eminent finale. Yes. Nonagon. You're right. <laughs> For Joy News, my name is Emmanuel Brightquicker.